Hmm. Now, which one has more? Let me see. Hmm. Well, howdy there, Frederick. What are you doing? Oh, hey, buddy. I'm just trying to figure out which pile of cupcakes I should eat. I definitely want to eat the one that has more cupcakes, but I can't really figure out which one that is. Well, have you tried comparing the numbers using the greater than, less than, and equal signs? I think you know that I haven't. <laughs> well, let me tell you about them. The greater than and less than signs both have an open end and a closed end. The big end or the open end points to the bigger number. Oh. Hmm. I don't get it. Well, let's see. Let's imagine that the sign is a hungry monster's mouth. Okay. You just point the open end at the larger number and imagine that the monster wants to eat the bigger amount. Well, I don't really have to imagine, eh? I do want to eat the bigger amount. <laughs> See? Well, what about the equal sign? Oh, well, that's just two parallel lines stacked up like this. See, there's no big end and no small end. The two ends are equal. Hmm, I think I get it, but... You know what might help me? What's that? A little song. A song? Mm-hmm. Well, where am I gonna find a song? Hey, how'd you do that? It doesn't matter, eh? Just go with it. Okay. Comparing numbers is our next little test. It's all about figuring out which is more and which is less. Look at the objects. Count them up and compare. Comparing two numbers is a simple affair. Take one for instance. Compare it to two. Which one is smaller? One is less than two. How about two? Compare it to ten. Ten is bigger. Want to try it again? Comparing numbers is what we like to do. Let's try it together. You can do it too. Comparing numbers is what we like to do. Let's try it together. You can do it too. Three comes next. Compare it to eight. Three is smaller. You're doing great. What about four? Compare it to six. Six is more than four. No joke. No tricks. Let's try nine and compare it to seven. Which one is smaller? No question, it's seven. How about five? Compare it to two. Five is much bigger, as you probably knew. Comparing numbers is what we like to do. Let's try it together, you can do it too. Comparing numbers is what we like to do. Let's try it together, you can do it too. Let's try one and compare it to ten. One is much smaller. Time and again. Now for something different. What if it's not less or more? Then the numbers are equal. If, if you're, you're keeping, keeping score, let's take three and compare it to three. Uh-huh. They are both equal. It's easy to see. Ooh. Now try ten. Let's compare it with ten. Uh-huh. Ten equals ten. Let's do it again. Yes. How about eight? Let's compare it with eight. They're both the same. There's no debate. Comparing numbers is what we like to do. Let's try it together. You can do it too. Comparing numbers is what we like to do. Let's try it together. You can do it too. Wow, that was great, eh? And you know what? Who was that, Frederick? I think I get it now. With equal sign, there's no larger end or smaller end. Mm-hmm. 
And with less than or greater than, you just point the hungry monster's mouth at the larger number so he can eat more. You got it! But, uh, you know what? What's that? I'm a hungry monster, and all of my cupcakes disappeared. Oh, well, uh, you, uh, you wanna come with me and get a bite to eat? Wow, I sure do! How about pizza? Or cupcakes? Or burgers? Or cupcakes? Or barbecue? Cupcakes it is! For more great videos, subscribe to Constructivision. Go on! You know you want to!